Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to App on iOS. And today, we're going to be messing around with the Elktron BC800 V2. But first, we're going to kick off with a brand new track from the Dragon Lady Music Experience. This is titled, You Are. Howdy do, I hope you're all doing good. Boom, there we are, all happening. 
This is How to App on iOS, and my name's Jade, as I said at the beginning, and that was the wonderful Dragon Lady Experience. That is a brand new song of hers called You Are, which uh, I saw on Pete's show. Very Björk, I must say. Very Björk, Björk, Björk indeed. Which I like a bit of Björk. I'd like a bit of Björk in my bed. Peppy? <laughs> oh, it's all happening here today. Sorry, folks, about yesterday. The show was all ready to go, but I had a blood nose for the f for an hour before the show. It got right on uh, 8 a.m. here. I was sitting here ready to go, 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 and the blood did not stop. I had a tampon shoved up my nose <laughs> because uh, that's what I do secretly behind the scenes um, to stop the blood flow. Who would have known that tampons stop the blood flow? <laughs> Um, so let's run through the usual morning stuff, but, uh, wouldn't you know it half an hour after the, after the, I canceled the show, the blood stopped. So I could have rebooted, but, uh, why not? We'll take a day off. Come and join the warts group at We All Rise Together. And I'll tell you why it's a good thing very shortly because you should, because you get lots of updates on things that, uh, may have happened that you should know about. This is the YouTube channel right here. Maybe is it happening? Where's the YouTube channel? <laughs> There it is right there. Please like, share, maybe subscribe, because it helps. And um, and all that good stuff. You can like right now if you want, or you can like at the end of the show. I don't really care. Or you can hit the dislike as many times as you want, because dislikes don't matter anymore, apparently. Um, if you are watching over on the Twitch at twitch.tv slash app on iOS, hello to you. We broadcast live at the Twitch every day. Well, every day we go live, and I have a Patreon, which is at patreon.com slash shadestar, where each weekend I master your songs and do app giveaways. And this week we have a really cool app giveaway, which will be talked about on tomorrow's show. Let's say hello to everybody. Uh, thank you for being here. Who do we have? Kim Harden Hudson, who's just about to release a brand new track, I believe, this week. Uh, which I luckily, uh, I thankfully got to master, and uh, it's really awesome. Thank you, Thomas Christ, for putting the link into the chat for the Patron, and um, uh, thank you for being here, as always, one of our fantastic moderators. Somebody who's not such a reliable moderator is Kev Hart, who's here, <laughs> but he's just as awesome. <laughs> um, who else? Uh, Sai, always effing good to see you. Hello, my friend. Uh, I think I saw Dan Eckberg. I think I saw uh, Bear was here as well. Uh, Audible video, hello to you, I hope you're doing well, and anyone else who may be watching and hasn't said hello, please say hello, do the thing, because it's nice to say hello and all that jazz, good stuff. Alright, we've got a few things I want to jump into today and cover before we jump into the microphone, because there's a lot of jumping into things, good stuff. Alrighty, so let's have a look at some price drops first, uh, fuck, call me out, why don't you... <laughs> Stay tuned for tomorrow's show because we're, we're doing Rhino tomorrow, the new um, guitar amp sim, and I'll be using some of Kev's examples, and he, he's really uh, taken it to town, plus I'll be playing some guitar with it as well. Good stuff, but let's do this now. Oops, I'm on the wrong page. We'll do that in a second. So, Mixbox has dropped in price. Mixbox is now free. Now I have, uh, I want to talk about this. Hello, Pete Johns. Pete, welcome to you. Oh, Jesus, your sound effect is so brutal. It destroys my hearing. So Mixbox, normally worth, uh, I don't know, 50 bucks or whatever it is, or 80 bucks, I think it is. It's been on sale for a, a, a since like the whole, uh, the whole uh, Black Friday stuff. And it came down to $29.99. And it was interesting because it stayed at twenty nine ninety nine after the uh, the whole Black Friday thing finished. Well, yesterday they announced Mixbox is now free going forward. So you can now get Mixbox for free, and you will get eight plugins with it out of the massive seventy there is. And you'll need to pay the in app purchase to get the full unlock. But here's the deal. I've seen a lot of people crying over the last day. Everybody's crying. 
Everybody's crying. Now, before people keep crying, if you were a member of the Warts Group, you would have known this only many minutes after this happened because I got a statement from IK Multimedia explaining this. We've received reports about users experiencing issues with Mixbox CS V1.3 update. Don't worry, we're not requiring you to pay for the app twice. If you've purchased Mixbox previously, you will not be charged upon the update. We are working with Apple to fix this issue because anybody who actually has paid for it beforehand and has all of the plugins, now with this latest version that has gone to free, cannot access their plugins. So uh, forums have been going bananas. Everybody's shitting all over IK Multimedia when in fact they released an immediate uh, uh, statement saying they are working with Apple to get it fixed. There'll be a one point, I guess 1.3 point something or 1.4 or whatever it'll be. It'll be very soon and everybody who's purchased it previously will have all their plugins back. My advice is if you uh, have paid for it previously, Try your best not to update right now. Turn off your updates if you need to keep using it. If you have already done so, don't fret because they'll be back. If you haven't purchased it previously, you're going to get free eight plugins and then you can decide to buy it. But those of us who've purchased it, we can no longer use the plugins until the update. So it's it's just a thing that happens with developers. These things go live and unfortunately they don't work as planned. But at least you know IK Multimedia are on it, and they're not trying to make you pay twice. So settle the fuck down. All right? Just cool your jets, folks. Good, we got that out the way. Happy days. <laughs> but if you were a member of the uh, Warts group over on Facebook, you would have known that. And there's the address right there. Boom. Join the Warts group. You would have known that spot on. Right as it happened, because I posted it immediately, yeah? Good stuff. So I want to talk about something else. Oh, we'll go back over here. Was there any other price drops? I oh, didn't check, did I? Um, anything of note? I think Fugue Machine is still on sale, $14.99 to $9.99. Um, all of the uh, audio, these things, the audio kit apps are all still on sale. Now's a good time to get it, Sai, because there's eight good uh, plugins in there. So, and th what you get for free is super. Like, anybody who's complaining about getting eight plugins for free is a donkey's dick. Cubase is still on sale. All the Eventide apps are all going to be on sale until January. So, remember that. They're all half price until January. So, if you've got, you know, you've go back through my videos. If there's any Eventide apps that you were considering, have a look through my videos. They're all half price right now. So that is that. I want to talk about GarageBand for a second. Good morning, Deep Gravity. Hello to you. So Pete did a show on Monday here in Australia. He's weekly, GarageBand weekly, of course. And he was doing a, a section on the synth, uh, the uh, uh, orchestral stuff. And uh, uh, something got mentioned in the uh, chat and um, I had to investigate and I want to follow up on it because I think it's important that people know what's what change has happened in GarageBand. So let's open up this sucker. I'm going to create a brand new project and we're going to go straight to the synths. Now this applies to all the instruments, but you may not know this because Pete didn't know this and Pete's the GarageBand guru. So I'm going to capitalize on this and let you know a change that has been made to the autoplays. Mm-hmm. I could probably go downstairs and brew an entire another cup of coffee while this opens up. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the time. Look at the time it's taking. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Man, GarageBand, take, it's taking longer and longer to open this stuff. Is it just my iPad? It can't be. My iPad's super fast. I got a fast iPad. Right, so here we are with the uh, all the uh, orchestral stuff. Look at that. Lovely. Just to give you a reference, let's go this screen. So you will know that when you move your fingers along here, 
you get this swell, this uh, stroking effect, yeah, a uh, uh, violin, whatever. But when we go to the autoplay, if I turn autoplay on, you control it with one finger. Yep. Now, those of you who would, uh, have been using GarageBand for a while will know if you do one finger, you get this. And if you touch with two fingers, you get a variation. But it seems like they changed it for some reason. Because now the other day when I was doing this, Pete was trying it on his show and it wasn't working the way it should. So what I found was what they've done, it seems, is they've added this. If you hold your finger down and then add a finger and then add a finger, can hear it more on the bass so what they've almost done is they've made it because you used to do it like two and then three and you touch and you it wouldn't always work so if i move over now and try and change this out to a bass you'll see the difference she's really I, I like this much better i think it's uh i think we'll go to two which one's the one that's just you know what's going on here I love this. When you've got other apps open, it makes GarageBand play everything double time. Why does it do that? See that? Something was removed from my back up, background and then it, it went to half time. So we've got this one beat here. So when I add one finger and you'll notice when I add the second and the third, But it used to be different. It used to be you would add one finger and then you could touch with two and then you could touch with three. So, and it didn't always work. So this way, I think they've changed it to be more like a, a flute or a, you know, a woodwind instrument that you're at, you, you hold one finger down and then add another, another. So I think it's a much better idea. Somebody put it in Pete's chat that it had changed. And when I investigated further, I was like, wow, they really have changed that. And at first I thought, uh, is, this, is this better or not? But the more I played with it, and as long as you've got one finger down all the time, that will uh, change between them. I think it's a much better way of doing it. So that's really cool. And they didn't even tell us about it. So that's really interesting that they decided not to tell us about that. Anyway, I thought I would just follow up on that because it's interesting. And um, it's it's weird how Garage or Apple sneak in these things and don't really tell you about these things. And you've got to find them out for yourself. Uh, yeah, three fingers is enough. Although my ex-wife... <laughs> nice one, Peppy. <laughs> Alrighty, let's jump in and talk about what we're doing today. So we are looking at a new microphone. Now, I've been using this microphone for the last week and a bit. And what you may not have noticed is... Hello, Russ, by the way. Good to see you, Russ. <coughs> what an entrance. Um, <laughs> so I've been using this for a bit over a week. And what I did for you guys was... I used it in a bunch of different shows, but didn't tell you I was swapping out my main mic here. So I normally use this uh, Rode pod mic, but for a couple of shows last week, I actually took this out and used this new mic instead and didn't tell you guys. So I wanted, I wanted to test it out that way to see if anybody at any time went, hey, your mic sounds different. What's going on? There, there's a change. But it seems nobody picked up on it. And that's a really good thing because the mic that we're looking at today is is about $30 cheaper than the one I have here. Okie doke. So 
Um, how are we going to do this? First, what I'm going to let you know is the mic was actually sent to me by a company here in Australia called Swamp Industries, which I thank very much. I purchase a lot of stuff from these guys. I buy all my guitar leads, all my mic leads. I've been buying guitar strings from them for over a year and a half. Um, also, um, my guitar rack that I have over in with my seven guitar rack, my boom arm, a lot of stuff I buy from this company. Hi, Frigzy. I hope you're doing well. So I uh, purchase a lot from these guys. I actually reached out to them and said, hey, I buy a lot of stuff from you. Um, would you be interested in sending me this particular microphone? Just so you guys know, and I'm utterly transparent. I normally will do my research on something that I want to show you guys on the show and then I reach out to a company and see if they will send it to me. If they tell me to fuck off, that's cool. If they then send it out, that's cool. Because then I'll already have an idea that I think this item's going to be good to show you and normally I'm right because I have done my research beforehand. So Swamp very genuine, uh, generously, that's it, sent me out this microphone and I have been testing it for a week. So let's just do this. Today's show, to let you know, is sponsored by my gear guide. There it is. How do you find it? You go to howtoapponios.com or gear dot, uh, ge <laughs> gear dot howtoapponios.com, uh, I think it is. And you can find the link here, recommended gear. And um, I have links to Amazon links to all, all the stuff that I use in my studio. And it's a growing list of stuff. And th this is on here now as well. Now you can actually buy it only in Australia through Amazon, unfortunately. Uh, if But you can actually order it from overseas through the Swamp website. They do ship overseas. So here it is. Australian, it's $129. It is a dynamic broadcast microphone. Uh, so you can actually order uh, from overseas. We did a test with Sai. So I uh, did a test order from overseas. I think it worked out with shipping to be about 100 uh, uh pounds i think it was so with the conversion and with shipping so that's pretty fair um and here is the microphone we're going to unbox it right now even though it's been unboxed for a week and we're going to have a look at it set it up maybe mic it up and what i'm going to try and do is see if we can match the tone of it with this current mic that i'm using right now okie doke so that is a gear guide. If you do want to head over to the gear guide, anything you do buy through the affiliate links, um, you know what? They break off a piece and they send it to me. So that's nice of Amazon, isn't it? I can't even find where I want to go here. There we are. So this is the gear guide here and there's lots of stuff there for you to have a look at. Close that. Now what I'm going to do is close out my iPad and you're going to see it disappear off my screen. Look at that, it disappeared. And I'm going to go to my big cam here, my desk cam, because I've actually got it sitting over here. Look at it. <laughs> it's over here with my Spark Amp. Hello, I have an idea. Good to see you, my friend. Boom. Boom, shaka, laga, laga, laga. Let's go back to this cam. So here is the box. Let's bring it over here. Um, there it is. This is how it comes. Uh, see if I can... Get the camera aimed a bit better. There it is. This is how it is delivered to you. It is the Alctron BC800 V2. It is a broadcast dynamic mic. What I what I first loved about it, what what piqued my interest is that it. I like really heavy mics. I like things that look really solid. I, I'll put it this way. I like microphones that look like I could kill someone with it. It's always good to have a, a weapon. <laughs> so, and this looks like... It could do that. So let's open it up and I'll tell you what. Why am I doing the unboxing again? Because I do love fancy packaging. As you may know, I'm a bit of a... I get turned on by a bit of fancy packaging. So we get this lovely bit of foam here, which I might stick on my wall for a bit of uh, soundproofing. <laughs> let's, let's turf this behind me. Okay, what's in the box? So we get... Um, okay, I don't even know what this is. I haven't even... Opened. Brr. Is this like things not to do? I love these things. Is it? Don't oh, 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 plug it in. Don't plug it in this way. 
I don't even know what that means. <laughs> don't, don't leave, don't put clouds on it. Don't put clouds on it. Clouds will destroy this thing. Uh, we'll throw that away. Cool. Good stuff. I'm going to throw that over there. So get some instructions. That's cool. Um, and what have we got? We've got it all in English. So you find out your polar patterns and all that stuff. I want to cover this first because we're going to talk a bit about polar patterns and how, how to make sure a microphone is going to suit your voice. Yeah. So here is the polar pattern. You'll notice at the high end here, there's a fair bit of a, a, a rise here. So it's, it's quite flat apart from this big jump at the end here. And why was I interested in this mic? Because this current one that I have is a lot bassier and I wanted to have something that gave me a bit of a high end jump for doing um, rock vocals, for recording rock vocals and for like screaming death metal stuff. And to have something that'll cut through a mix. And because of that nice polar pattern there, this mic is perfect to cut through the mix, yeah? And if you didn't know, here's some instructions on where to put the microphone. Make sure you put it in front of your face and not your ass, folks. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, we've got like a warranty card. Good stuff. Got a warranty card. I love that. Always love a bit of warranty. Not sure how long it's for, but I'll fill it in and do all that stuff at a later time. Here's what's in the box. So we get one of these little things. Look at that. It's a, one of those hats that British soldiers, uh, British guards wear at the, the Royal Palace. But for, for um, very small versions of them. We'll stick that, uh, we'll stick that there. We'll put it over there, won't we? I love live unboxings, they're good fun. All right, this is what intrigued me too. This is, this is really exciting. Look at that. It's like something that you would, um, I don't know, it looks like something out of uh, Return, uh, The Empire Strikes Back that you put Han Solo's hands in before he got carbonated. So it's like this uh, little system here that you wind these in around the microphone, yeah? That's pretty cool. So this really intrigued me. So it is made of plastic. With uh, It's got rubber here on these ends. So it looks like um, that, that's going to be cool, yeah? I always like a good uh, mic holder, is that what you call it? I don't know. Let's just call it that. And... In here is Le Microphone, and it comes in a nice uh, pencil case. <laughs> nice little pencil case. Wow, it's got weight, yeah? It's pretty heavy. And I like that. I mean, you could you could kill someone with that very easily, and I like that. You know, if somebody breaks into my house, I just grab the old Alctron and just smash somebody over the head with it, and then I, while they're laying there writhing in pain, I just pick it up and go, Rawr! Rawr! Some heavy metal. So that's what's in the box. So we got this, uh, we've got the case, we got all that stuff. So what do we, we can we can ditch the case, the box now. Throw this down here. Ooh, sorry, Peppy. Kidok. Let's bring back um, the iPad. Oh shit! Everything's falling apart. <laughs> no Siri, I'm not interested, baby. No, not interested. Give us some face recognition. All right, we got our iPad back. Let's go back to this screen. So what I'm going to do now is um, let's have a closer look at the microphone now. So we have some switches on the bottom as well. So here's a XLR plug. So this isn't a, a USB or anything like that. It's a serious business. All right. And we've got uh, two switches. So we've got, it looks like a, Looks like a low cut here to turn on, and it looks like a mid, a mid jump. Yeah, so there are two little switches there we can uh, tool around with. There it is nice and close, very phallic, but aren't all microphones? <laughs> okay, so let's put it in this thing. Now I'm guessing it's going to go that way. So we're going to have to unwind these a little bit. Kind of reminds me of, remember at the end of, um, what is it, uh, Return of the Sith, when Darth Vader was like uh, 
tied up in, in that machine where he'd first been put in his suit. And he's like, no, pad me. I'm putting it in backwards. How he's suspended. That's what it reminds me of. So I'm going to put that in like this. And then I have to tighten these up around it. So we're creating like a suspension. So it's like a suspension bridge almost. Let's tighten these. I'm going to bring that down a bit to about here. Probably. Yeah, that's about right. Just tighten these up. Try and get it even in the middle. There we go. Look at that. So there it is. It's, it's uh, all set up, ready to go. I've probably put it around the wrong way now. No, that's good. That'll do. Yep, it's up the right way. So there we go. Now I can screw this into a mount. And what do you know? I have one right here. There we go. I've got one right there. <laughs> so let's screw this sucker in. So I've got two of these boom arms on my desk here, which is really good. What I use the boom arms for is when I'm doing the live performances, the opening hour shows on the weekend, I can have two mics, one if I want to mic up a guitar, and one if I, or I want to use a condenser mic and do something a little bit different, and one uh, which is the one here, this one which is my main uh, microphone. And uh, if you go back to my gear guide back here, I just bought a brand new boom arm, again, from Swamp. I got this one here. And that's what I'm using as my main boom arm. So it's this one. If I can zoom in. There you go. So it's got the internal springs. And this thing's been... I've had this for a, a week now. And it's really good. It's It's a lot better than... This second one I have here, see, it's got these springs on it. I really can't stand these these springs. They're super noisy. So there you go. Um, and here's our second mic. I'm going to bring this over here in front of me. Do I have it? There we go. So let's do that. We'll uh, point this up a little bit. Now, what I'm going to say straight off the bat, and it is what it is. When I bought uh, this microphone here, this uh, pod, uh, pod mic from Rode, it didn't come with a, a windshield, right? So it did not come with a windshield. So I bought this windshield separately. I bought this on uh, Amazon. I think it was like about $12. Um, and you'll see, if I can bring it over here, it's really thick. It's um, really nice quality. And even though this uh, Rode Pod mic doesn't really need anything because the the capsule's so high. Anyway, we're not talking about this, but um, I just wanted to make sure there were no pops. I just want to show you the difference between the the two windshields. This one that comes with the Alctron is quite thin, so if you can see that, quite thin and really easily squishy. But this one's a lot thicker, so straight. Out of the box, I would suggest, and I'm going to show you, getting a, I would get a different windshield for this, right? For the, if you bought the Elktron. It's just my opinion, because I, and you'll, I'll show you the difference in a second. So, let's um, bring in this second mic. I'll bring this up here. There we go. So, we've got them both next to each other. Good stuff. And we'll close this. Now, I've got the... Hi, Ed. Hello, Dragon Lady. We opened with your song today. Um, anyone else I have missed? Hello to you. I'm going to turn down this main mic and I'm going to bring in the uh, Alcatron and it has no EQ on it. Now, remember, let's just clear this up first. The, uh, the, pod, the Rode Pod mic that I'm using has EQ on it, right? So this has been totally EQ'd for... For the right amount of bass and everything and I will take this back to zero for you but I'm about to turn up the Alctron and with no EQ absolutely whatsoever hopefully oh you know what I gotta I gotta put in a plug don't I <laughs> that would help 
What do we got? I think it's this one. Yeah. This is the one. So I've got to plug this in. We'll show you that. Cool. So we're plugged in. Boom. Hello, 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 hello. So here we are, straight off the bat. And what you will notice with no windshield, uh, everything's set at the same level. So the same level uh, and the same amount of gain on this. But you will notice straight off the bat with no windshield, Peter Piper picked a pick of peppers. There's a fair bit of popping that does happen. And that will be mostly because the difference between these two is the, the actual, uh, the capsule here with the, the road is a fair, it's fairly long and the, the mic's actually way back down here where this one's a, a fair bit closer. What I'm going to do, again, we've got no EQ on this and this is just the, the Elktron we're going through. Oh, yeah. Oh, fucking we love that, don't we? Yeah, slip it on. Slip it on. Oh, we need some sexy music for that, don't we? Do we have any sexy music? I don't think so. Maybe. Um, sexy music? That's... <laughs> what am I doing? Yeah. Slip it on. Ooh, slip it on. There we go, we slipped on. So, now we've got the pop filter. Peter Piper picked a pick of peppers. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. One, two, 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 two. So it's already made a heap of difference, yeah? But what I want to show you now is I'm going to take off this, this uh, actual windshield. Let's go back over here. Back over here. Uh, actually, we'll go full screen so you can see both microphones, yeah? There we go. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, it's better. So, um, I'm going to take off this windshield and I'm going to... <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm going to put on the one I bought from Amazon and watch the difference. This is why I said I think it's good to get a different pop shield. Peter Piper pecked a peck of peppers. Peter Piper, see, instantly. P -p 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 -p. So the difference in pop sh in uh, windshields is massively different. So if you're going to pick up one of these, the microphone's wicked. Let me just say, the microphone's awesome. But the pop shield's a bit thin and weak. So it, uh, definitely a good idea just to pick up like an $8, $12. Something a bit more substantial. So, see you later, Russ. Hello, Black Covers. Black Covers tags in. Russ goes out. So again, um, let's skip over here to my desk cam. And if you have a look at the settings here, you'll see mic one is uh, where everything is, and it's all set to zero. So it's all set to zero, absolutely. Boom. Now let's uh, try and EQ this so it's a little bit uh, more friendly for uh, podcasting for this particular show. Now, uh, I'm going to bring up the highs a little bit. Hello, hello, hello. Look at that. There, we've got some highs coming in. The high end. I'm going to bring in the, the low end a little bit as well. Whoops, that's not the one. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, 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 two. I'm going to take out the mids a little bit. One, two. Hey. One, two, 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 two. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Three, four. Knock at the door. Five, six. Pick up sticks. So straight away... I'm starting to hear a, a tone that's more like what I use in the daily show on the other mic. So what I'll do is just put on the other, let's do this, put on the other pop filter if I can on here. Or maybe not. I think it's a bit smaller. We'll just leave it there. And I'm going to bring in the other mic and let's hear the difference between them. One, two, 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 one, two. Pretty similar stuff. Hello. Uh, so we've probably got a bit more t uh, low end on this one, particular one compared to this one that's probably a bit brighter. And I can match it because I do like a bit of low on here. One, hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let's take out 
some of the low on the other one. Hello, 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 hello. Bring in a bit more low on this one. Hello, 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 hello. I don't know why I think goodbye, I stay hello. So with a little bit of EQ, you can get it to sound pretty much exactly what my other mic was. So, why am I telling you this? Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your soul. Cool. So why am I telling you this about uh, flat EQ and EQing your microphone? I'll tell you why. Because, 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 because. You'll see a lot of shows that do microphone reviews and stuff, and they do all the stuff where you move around the side of the mic and you do the tests of the desks and everything, and, and that's all great. And then they do flat responses and all this kind of stuff. And then at the end, they sit there and tell you out, tell you, well, you know, this mic isn't really that good. I, I mean, it, it's, it's, you know, it sucks, and you've got to do a fair bit of EQ. And I don't think I've ever purchased a microphone where I've not had to do any EQ on it and even an SM7B there's an amount of EQ that people put on it and here's another thing that I want to talk about as well with microphones it all depends on your voice like you could have a voice that just doesn't work with a particular microphone it just is what it is so I think um you know, go, trying to understand the polar patterns on microphones and trying to understand your voice. The more you sing and the more you record your voice, even in, in with a, a, a basic microphone, a cheap microphone. Now, you know, th this is like, what was it? 129 Australian dollars. It's not a, it's not a, a SM7B. It's very clearly is not. But with tweaking and understanding how to use your voice with a microphone, you can, with most microphones, get them to sound pretty damn close to any particular microphone that you want to use. So, in saying that, you saw within seconds, I turned these two mics, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, to sound pretty close the same, to sound pretty closely the same, to sound pretty closely the same. Very easily with a, uh, and, and if you look at the, I don't think I can zoom in on the actual, can I? Let's see if I can. Zoom in on the actual EQ. You'll see these are EQ'd totally different from each other. Let's do it. If I unclip my camera. So the, the Alctron is number one. And these are the EQs, the, these three here. So you can see, and the, the uh, pod mic is number two, right? And look at the difference between them. You've got a, a bit more bass in number one, a bit less in number two, heaps of mids pulled out and some highs added in there. And the other uh, number two has like up the middle for mids and a little bit uh, on the highs. So both very drastically different EQing, but getting a very similar sound. So the reason I wanted to uh, talk about that is when you see people reviewing microphones and sneering at the prices and all of that jazz, <laughs> click away. They're bullshitting you. You can achieve really awesome sounds with um, microphones of any cost. Unless, unless there is a but there. Unless you go to somewhere like AliExpress, yeah, <laughs> and you or, or eBay, and you buy one of those um, condenser mics or dynamic mics that are like fifteen dollars, twenty two dollars, don't buy that shit. Just don't buy that shit. Trust me on that. Shop around. I mean, if you're in the US, you're looking seventy to eighty bucks. That's what this microphone would be, US price, around that 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 much. Um, so between sixty to eighty bucks depends, and then you know your shipping. Anything around that price is absolutely worthy these days. So in Australia, that would be like you know one hundred and twenty, one hundred and thirty. As I said, this one one hundred and twenty nine. This one was one hundred and sixty. Thirty dollars difference. Virtually the same mic, really. 
is this a cool mic? Fucking oath it is. It's a brilliant mic. It, it, and I haven't even messed around with the settings on the back. So the thing is, I haven't needed to. But you do have, if I want, they were already on. So definitely um, there's a difference. Let's put it back on. So there's a low cut and and you can hear that's a bit brighter now. I've got that one up already. So there's definitely a difference within those. Again, most of the time you're not even going to need them. If you understand EQ and you understand your voice and you understand what, what kind of tone you want, that's how it's going to work. But again, if I take off this pop filter, hello, you can hear that pop is Peter Piper Pecked a Peck of Peppers is quite heavily there. But Peter Piper Pecked a Peck of Peppers is completely gone with a windshield. Hello, Vortex. I hope you're doing well. 60 bucks should do you for the basics. Absolutely. And the thing is, again, I will reiterate, get to know your voice. Get to know your voice. Now, this is a podcast mic. It is a dynamic. So you do not need a cloud lifter if you're using a mixer. Uh, you definitely don't need the, that. Let me go back over here. Uh, where are we? So uh, you won't need a cloud lifter if you're using something like a mixer. Uh, if you're recording singing vocals into uh, an audio interface, you definitely won't need a cloud lifter or anything like that. So uh, it's it's uh, going to be absolutely fine because it's, it's a dynamic mic. You're going to be singing close into it anyway. Um, what, I've, what I will be using this mic for predominantly, and uh, we can, can give it a bit of a test in a second, I'll be using it for death metal vocals. Yeah, that is it. So I'll be using it um, for death metal vocals. Can you kick it a little harder? Most inexpensive mics die on high pressure. Roar! Running as you die! Fucking I will twist your life! Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> How was that? Was that okay? Die! Now you fall! Till the world! Really good for metal vocals, this thing. That's one of the reasons I got it. It's going to be absolute. Let's let's give it a try now. Even though it's early in the morning and I don't, I shouldn't be singing this loud. Let's go in here and uh, what do we do? We'll grab an old, one of the old ones in here. Uh, we'll grab an old version of uh, Desir. <laughs> an old version of Desir, one which uh, has no vocals on it. Put on some reverb. aren't the lyrics to that song i'm just uh fucking around but there you can see pushing it to the max no problem at all um i have it uh set to gain up i think i showed on the mixer it's set to uh, unity on the mixer the gains up to about nine sounds great <laughs> anybody who tells you cheap mics are shit tell them they're shit and they don't deserve to be having a conversation with you we have come such a long way with microphone technology, man. We are living in a world where there are people recording songs, recording vocals using their headphones from their iOS devices, and it sounds great. There are people using the microphones in their iPhones. 
So something like this for 130 bucks is an absolute gun. Should I do this? Because I haven't done this. We've got 10 minutes left. Should I give this a go? Yeah. And look, the, the thing is, get to know your voice. And, and I think Kim Harden Hudson is a really good um, example of this. When we first met Kim, she had a couple of songs out and uh, we heard her music. And there's a whole bunch of us who said, you really should turn up your vocals. Yeah, you really should turn up your vocals because your vocals are really great. And she went away and listened to our advice and turned up her vocals and started to put them front and center instead of hiding them so far in the mix. Now, on this weekend just gone, I just mastered her brand new single, which is being um, premiered this weekend on Hippie's show and on Pete's show. It's amazing. Why? Because she started to understand her voice. She started to believe in her voice and she started to uh, bring it to the front. And when you start to understand your voice, you'll start understanding how a microphone can work for you and how to EQ it and all that kind of stuff. So it, it's don't buy a mic and think it's going to do everything for you. Work it with your voice and this is a beautiful microphone. As I said, it's heavy, sturdy made, sounds fantastic, can be EQ'd to whatever you want. You just heard me just blast the shit out of it, and it sounded fantastic, and I've hardly done anything with it. Uh, thank you very much, Mobile Music Pro Vortex, for the kind super chat. Shall we try and mic this up to a guitar very quickly? I haven't tried this, and I'm willing to give it a go. It may. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's grab it. You hear that? <laughs> that is my uh, spark amp making noise because the cord's on the floor and it's not plugged in. So let's turn it off until then. Let me grab a guitar. Uh. Uh. Okay, we've got a guitar here. I've got my six string LTD. We'll plug this sucker in and hopefully I can mic this up. Okay. Yeah, absolutely, Thomas. Like, it's not like she she sounded shit or anything like that. It's just that her voice is a little bit, a little bit buried. That was all it was, man. That was all it was. So um, what am I going to do? Let's do this. We'll close out GarageBand. Boom. I'm going to open my Spark amp and turn on my Spark. And let's connect my Spark to, if you've never seen this done before, it's pretty cool. Oh, we didn't connect. We'll retry. Come on, bitch. Successfully connected. So can we do this? Let's see if this will work. Drum cam. Cool, there we go. So, let's swap mics now. I'm gonna take this thing off, put this back on my road, and we'll turn back up my road pod mic and turn this down. Cool, we're back here. See, fuck all difference. Right, let's... Now this is a stereo, um, amp so and i haven't done this before so fucking bear with me now let's grab a nice tone here so this is how the spark works it's connected via bluetooth and i can just go in and choose a metal tone i think i was what tone will i use uh i can't remember which one i used yesterday when i was playing very heavy sound <laughs> Brutal death metal. <laughs> That'll do. Let's uh, mic it. I don't want to blow it out. I'm going to take out some of this bass. I'm going to flat EQ this microphone. Take out this compression. Uh, 
get a better sound. Uh, which one did I want? Does it to gent? <laughs> So we've got a bit of noise in that tone. What else do we have here? Where are all my tones? They haven't come through here. We've got a dime bag barrel tone. Now we need to kick in some. That's not the tone I'm looking for. Now we could go in here and mess with Sounds pretty good to me. We're just quickly miking that up. It's definitely not getting any bleed through this microphone because this is a dynamic and, you know, it's a very close range. But it sounds all right. Like, uh, I'm pretty cool. And uh, with that, it's, it's interesting because I am trying to mic up the spark. And I, I have a distance between the mic here of, say, four inches. Could probably bring it a little bit closer, really. Or, you know, I'm just a bit concerned because... It is a stereo, so this amp has two speakers in here. I mean, I could definitely bring it in a little bit closer, and, and you, you definitely hear a difference, I would suspect. <laughs> So yeah, definitely a bit closer. You're going to get a different tone, of course. It all depends on where you place the mic. Yeah, good shit. I'm going to have to turn this off because it's 9 a.m. in the morning. And I don't want to wake people up. <laughs> Let's do a bit of FMC beforehand. <laughs> Sounds great. Cool. Off you go. We can disconnect. Boom. See you later, Sparky. Off you go. Uh, let me put this back. Oh, man. God, my body sucks. All righty. we are happening so hello 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 so yeah i changed the whole uh makeup now and kept that pretty flat god i've got leads everywhere now so there you have it let's try and bring this tone back to where i had it for earlier give it a bit of highs a bit of bass slap this thing back on whoosh whoosh Give it back some volume. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Two, 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 two. So, sounds pretty good. Um, what do you think? Pretty cool mic. The Elktron BC 
800 V2. Podcast, great for rock, man. Absolutely great. I didn't try it for any really uh, natural singing or anything like that, but I'm sure it's going to be damn cool for that as well. But straight out the box, pretty neat. I'm happy with it. Put some compression back on here. There we go. That's better. Roll! Good stuff. Um, so, as I said, once again, we'll remind you, you can find the links to buy this on my gear guide. There you go. Um, you can buy it through Swamp. Um, they will deliver overseas. So, if you're interested in that, um, th remember there are other there's other stuff on my gear guide as well. Other microphones, all that kind of stuff. It's all here at gear. How to open iOS. Dot com and you will find it or just go to how to app on iOS dot com or see that little uh, that little barcode in the top corner of the screen if you hold your camera app over it it should take you straight to the website thank you very much I have an idea for the kind super chat I just want to thank um, uh, Swamp Industries for sending me out the microphone I think it's cool I think it's uh, absolutely a, a, a lovely addition to my mic family for when I want to do some vocals that cut through, for some high-end stuff to cut through. Uh, definitely uh, a different tone than my uh, Rode uh, pod mic, which is a, a bit of a deeper voice uh, uh, tone, and this is m much better for cutting through. Hello, nothing pretty about synth. Alrighty dokie, we've done all of that. Guys, there's a few things I want to let you know that are happening on the channel, especially tomorrow. Let's do this. So, tomorrow we are finally looking at Rhino. Shit yeah, Rhino has been released. It is finally out. Um, Aurora DSP dropped this last week. I've been on the beta for this for far out. It feels like six months. Um, playing around with this for a long time. It's the shit, man. If you're after a fucking killer guitar sim, look no further. This thing is a beast. It can handle your own IRs. We're going to be looking at all those tomorrow. I'm going to be playing some new Metheus tracks to show you how good it sounds because I am writing a brand new Metheus album right now. Um, also, um, if you watch the show tomorrow, there's um, I, I have a bit of a partnership deal with somebody else on YouTube who has a bunch of free IRs that you can get, so stay tuned for that. And then, the day after, we have the amazing Yelly Savita is on the show, and she is fucking amazing. And she makes music. Did you know that? So, uh, join me for uh, the next two days, Yelly Savita, this week. And next week, we have an interview with the amazing Nikki Tedesco, which is going to be sick. Also, yeah, awesome. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. You all rock so very much, and uh, I hope you have a great day. Remember, do the things that make you happy, mistakes make you better, and we all rise together. This microphone is awesome. Black covers, I'm finishing off the video today, and we'll send that to you later on for, uh, you know... Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, say no more. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good one, and I will see you tomorrow for a bit of fun with the Rhino. <laughs>